This is the Dolphin X with a low seat. The high seat is on order. Here are some balance drills and some edging drills. Here we're paddling on the starboard edge. And now switching to the port edge. Here's a bow draw. These I worry a little bit about because I want to make sure I'm in a good position and that my elbow is not locked into the side of my body but that it's also not too far away. That it's close but not so close that it's locked in. A bow draw in this boat I consider an edging and balance drill. I notice in general I'm not getting the paddle in as deep on the starboard side as on the port. I think the rotation is weaker to the port side as well. I would like to get a swivel seat for this boat, but unfortunately SRS does not make one.
The Delphine X, I think, has a 45 centimeter beam. some more balance and rotation drills and some edging. This is a Tai Chi movement called teacup. You try to pretend that you're balancing a teacup on your hand as you make this movement. I think I'm definitely not as balanced on the port side. I'm trying not to let either hand cross the body midline at all. And I noticed I'm dropping my hands now. I think I'm getting a little bit tired and I've started to drop my hands a little bit at the end of the stroke. Now I'm correcting for that here. I think the high seat will definitely correct some postural issues. It's a little bit better on the starboard catch now. Getting the blade in the water. Until I'm absolutely sure of my position on the bow draw, I want to make certain that I don't do it under high momentum.
So this is the third time I've had this boat out since taking it out of storage for the winter. I actually probably have not paddled this boat in two and a half years. Trying to keep in mind getting that sweep out at the hip, 12 to inches, 18 inches away. I'm trying to use a relatively light grip on the paddle, but I'd like to loosen it still. balance. In this case just sitting completely still in the boat. Now stretching the low back. This lake is a nice lake because it has some long runs, so if you want to do some long steady distance or some interval pieces, you can do it. There's enough room, but it also has a lot of nice alcoves where you can go and practice some skills, and it's never too far from shore. Plus, it has a 50 horsepower limit on any engine, so it's always very calm. Now we're headed back towards the dock. Now we're paddling over on that starboard edge again. I think we took 30 strokes. Now we're switching to the port side. There again, my weaker side to be on an edge. I thought, oops, that's only 20. So I go back into the last 10. Again, I'm letting that right hand drop a little bit. There, I bring it back up. I think I corrected myself. I'm 
Now I'm trying to think about rotation here a little bit more. And now we're coming into the dog. You can probably tell I'm a little bit hesitant to do this. I still want to make sure that I have my elbow tucked in, but not glued to the side of my body. The most important thing is to stay in the proper position to protect the joints. start sculling a little bit, sort of, to get over to the dog.